Guess what? I got a secret. Come closer now. Let me tell you. Closer. You are so beautiful. <laughs> to him. Now, seriously, turn to Psalm chapter 149, verse 4. Psalm 149, verse 4. I hope you have your Bible. This is a prayer session. Okay, here we go. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. He honors the humble with victory. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. He honors the humble with victory. I want us to focus on that word honor. Think about that. The creator of the universe, the one who magnifies, is magnified all of the world. He created the galaxies, all the trillions of blades of grass, put breath in your lungs this morning. And right now he honors you. Woo. Is that not huge? That's almost scary to think of like, who am I honor? The creator honors his creation. Do you know why? Do you know why? Well, let's go to Mr. Strong's. You know, I have a friend from Korea and he says that there are certain words in Korean that cannot be fully translated using the American English. And so there is one particular word for love. He says there is not even a concept or word for it in English. I said, wow, that's deep. Well, that's similar to Hebrew. Hebrew is the original language of the Old Testament where Psalms comes from, right? So we want to go to Mr. Strong's. That's what I call the Strong's Concordance to see what the word honor means originally in Hebrew. So the word honor is payar. I hope that's not backwards. P-A apostrophe A-R. It means to glean, embellish, boast, explain, that is make clear. So when the Lord honors you, he's making his glory clear through your life. He's embellishing you. He's gleaming himself through you. And what did the rest of that verse say? There is a condition for that. It says he honors the humble with victory. So our hearts have to have humility and he honors us with victory. Another, uh, when you translate victory in the Hebrew, it also means health. It means salvation. It means deliverance. So when people see deliverance of your life, health, salvation, that points to his glory. Another word for honor is, uh, to is, is in various versions here. You see that? Psalm 149, verse 4. Another word for honor is to crown, to adore, to beautify. So think of all of that, because beautify, once you get to the core of that with Mr. Strong's, it is glorify. So every time that you honor the Lord with a humble heart and, and humility to him, he will honor you. Hebrews eleven six says that he is a rewarder. So that's the form of a reward, right? And he rewards you with victory. He rewards you with salvation and deliverance. Well, today is what? Miracle service. Miracle Sunday. Hallelujah. It's the last Sunday of the month. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We celebrated it with Zaria on Friday. We are celebrating it today, Sunday, the 26th of May, 2024. So I want you to have this with your heart of expectancy to know that the Lord loves you so much that even as the creator of the universe, he honors you as you honor him. Why? Because it creates a cyclical environment, which in other words, is a relationship. You honor him, he honors you. You honor him. He honors you. You keep giving him glory. He keeps giving you glory. He crowns you. He adorns you. Think about that. The king of kings crowns you. You know, I had to learn to receive compliments. I didn't know how to do that without without saying something with it. Oh, I like your dress. Oh, this old thing. You know, I got it from the it was on sale. I just I, I learned that from watching others because, especially men, they can take compliments very easily. If you say, "Oh, that's a nice tie," they say, "Thank you." And I said, like, wow, is that easy? I used to almost think of it as arrogance. It is not. It is not. You for for you to say thank you to someone who is gifting you something shows them appreciation. So when God is crowning you, adorning you, beautifying you, honoring you, don't cower away as much as it seems natural to stand there with the courage and strength that he's given you to receive that crown because everybody knows when they look at that crown that you didn't make it, 
That is a crown from heaven and that points glory to who? The God of heaven. So the more that we reveal his glory, it's just going to point back to him and he takes pleasure in it. Remember that first line? It says the Lord takes pleasure in his people. Well, the reason why we can do that is because we're created in his image. We have emotions. Scientists have taught us that we are 1%. Our DNA is 1% different than all of the creation. That's true. And that's one was one percent different than a blade of grass, one percent different than your puppy dog, one percent different than your pet fish. That is true, but that one percent is a great percent. You know why? Because it includes the soul, it includes the will to choose. You can either choose to accept Christ or to reject Him. It includes that one percent, uh, emotions, all kinds of emotions. You can have a righteous jealousy, you can have anger, you can have pleasure. Why? Because we are made in the image of God. We bear his image. And so when he sees you displaying it, he sees himself. And that is what he takes pleasure in. When you take pleasure in something, do you give a sad face? Do you give an angry face? You give a smile face, right? God literally smiles on you. I hope you know this. It's Zephaniah 317. He rejoices over you. If you look that up in the original Hebrew, he swirls around and gleefully, loudly rejoices, singing over you as in celebration. <laughs> the things that we do, we really don't attribute to God. We don't think of him that way. Where do you think it came from? These are the emotions that we have because he has given it to us. For, and, and when he sees it, that is his glory displayed on the earth. He takes pleasure in it and he rewards it. He honors it. So continue to display the love of Christ. Continue to show God's glory with humility in your heart. And he will continue to crown you with victory. Whatever you have, whatever you need on today, especially on this miracle service, if you need deliverance of a health issue, salvation from family, you need to salvation from a wrong mindset to go from a lower version to a higher version. He has it for you. That will be your reward for coming to him with a humility, humble heart, and also praying and expecting and believing. And by the way, this is a prayer session. We are covering Apostle Joshua Selman Nimak and Kanonia Global, and we are covering the local assemblies worshiping worldwide who are coming together to worship his name. And lastly, uh, uh, with that lesson of Psalm 149 verse four, don't ever believe, don't ever think that, um, oh, <sighs> We, you are the zenith of his creation. So don't ever fall for the lie that you're no different than any other, than any other creation. Remember that 1% is that 1% was comprised in it, within it is the soul, was the will to choose, the, the, the mind, will, and emotions. And that is what sponsors the ability to have relationship with the father. So it's, uh, you're honoring him with, and loving him with the love that he first gave you in the first place. Keep doing it. Keep doing it and he'll give us more and more light, more and more revelation, and you will experience and encounter more and more of his love that will, will, will eventually power you to reveal his glory. What good is a rainbow if it cannot be displayed? That's what rainbows are for. They reveal the glory. You are revealing his glory now. Hallelujah. So remember that God honors you. He crowns you. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to say thank you. That means you've given us lips. You've given us eyes. You've given us working limbs. You've given us breath in our lungs. And you've given us a heart to pray. I didn't even know that that was a grace. So thank you, Lord, for the vessel that has imparted the grace for prayer and supplication for us to seek you. You said, draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. We are drawing nigh to you, Lord, and we are expecting to receive a greater dimension of of you a new fresh encounter please increase our vets and strengthen them stretch them and strengthen them stretch them and strengthen them what good is it to receive a whole bunch of oil and it leaks prematurely so we want to make sure that our vessels are strengthened to hold that which you give us but that they are so increased because we know through the diligence the sacrifice the sound mind and teaching of the apostle joshua selman that we are receiving a great greater measure of oil that's the covenant that he has with you and he's shown himself to be a great steward with it over and over and we have received the results so we know that we are bound to receive it today and as a result of that we petition on behalf of him on behalf of what he's done for your church the people 
your people that you take pleasure in, like in Psalm 149, 4. And so we ask you to crown him with righteousness, to bless him and reward him. You are the rewarder, Hebrews 11, 6. Bless him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, so that more of your glory can be revealed in his personal life, as well as throughout the nations. We plead the blood of Jesus over all his documents, devices, papers, and everything that should be every word that is to be dispensed and disseminated to the church, to the body on today. We will receive every single thing that you called us to have in each of our individual lives. You know what they, you know what we need. And that in itself is a miracle that you can use one vessel to touch hundreds, thousands of millions, exactly where we are in our homes. We receive you. We believe and receive that distance is no barrier. Technology is no barrier to the power of your Holy Spirit as we connect in faith. So we thank you for covering him, his family, Koinonia Global, from the top crown of that hotel or the crown of that sanctuary to the bottom of it. May the blood of Jesus seep even through the soil, searching out everything that does not belong so that there is a spirit of peace, of shalom that is prevalent and pre present all across the campus grounds there. And we know again that distance is no barrier. So that spirit of shalom rests with all those who are connected by faith, even online. And not even just the spirit of shalom, but of salvation. As we read, salvation is another word for victory in Psalm. 149.4. May you be our victory. May that be our reward. Salvation. Victory of health. You said uh, another word, Hebrew word for victory is um, the deliverance or salvation in our physical health. So for those who are needing a miracle in their physical health, their minds, their emotions, Lord, be that for us on today. Let us partake of every part of worship as worship, even from tithes, giving, sowing, even from the singing and raising of our hands. Let us be ever present in every part of the worship. I decree and I declare there'll be no demonic distraction, no demonic interruption, and no demonic interaction whatsoever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are focused on the word, the seed shall be put buried deeply into our souls and shall not be plucked up by the enemy, but it will only flourish to your glory because where there is fruit given or born and where the, your, your glory is displayed, the rainbow colors are shown. That is where your glory is displayed. As you continue to reward us with crowns on our head from your heavenly, from, 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 from the gates of heaven, from, from, from the, from your heaven, Lord, but may that be a, a, a display of your glory. As we continue to honor you, you are honoring us. And as magnificent as that sounds, we are posturing ourselves in humility and where we are humble, we are lifted. And so we understand that dynamic is not one of uh, arrogance, obviously, it's the opposite. And we don't have to fear receiving your gifts. We don't have to fear being honored by you because it's because you take pleasure in honoring the zenith of your creation, the only part of creation that can honor you back. The puppy dog, as cute as he is, can't pray for us. The pet fish cannot uh, honor you back, cannot praise you with their lips. And the blades of grass, uh, although everything in heaven is living on here on earth, they cannot, they don't have hands to clap. Only we have these attributes that you've given us unto us for us to use and display unto you and to be a body. And we pray all these things in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you for the KGPF local pastors and assemblies around the world. Again, we are coming together on this Sunday. Thank you for our people who have come together and say, on this day, we worship Jesus. On this day, we worship Yeshua HaMashiach. We give glory to God and solidarity. And even for those who have gone astray, we still have this as a discipline to be in the consciousness of the entire world that this is a day dedicated unto worship and to the Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord, and activate your Holy Spirit power, your Holy Ghost power throughout the nations, throughout the churches to take this serious, to let us know what is our role in the kingdom? What is your will be done? Your kingdom come. And not to be just focused on any prideful things or any uh, selfish endeavors and to use your cosmic laws or the things that you have availed to us for our own selfish purposes. No, we want to be in line with you, Holy Spirits, the capital, uh, uh, 
lowercase h and line with your capital H Holy Spirit so that we know your will be done, your kingdom come. And for everything that we don't know within our natural mind in this point in our journey with our natural language, may you please fill in the gaps with what your will is through our praying of the Spirit. Your will be done. Your kingdom come. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Through the hearts of our lips that are, are pronouncing what you want done throughout the earth. Hallelujah. He's so worthy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just give him a wave offering. Thank you, Lord. So remember, today is Miracle Service. Invite as many people as possible. Make sure that if you don't have Koinonia Global's email contacts, look in our community posts on our website page, and we'll have it posted there so that you can use the Google Docs to present or submit your prayer request and to always be in the know and to have a family that you can come to to help you as you're growing on this faith journey. I love you, family. And remember this. I want to leave you. This is God singing. You are so beautiful to him. Verse one. I can't sing that high. On. You're everything that I hope for. God does hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. You're everything that I need. <laughs> no spirits can legally exist on earth without a body. He does need you. You are so beautiful. To him. All right. I love you, family. See you next time.